Spider-Man No Way Home shows us that the large Marvel Cinematic Multiverse is all connected. And with the infinite knowledge of the symbiote hive mind, let's look at all the live action Marvel symbiotes and their hosts. In we start with Sony's Venom Universe and its three main symbiote characters, Venom, Riot and Carnage. And let's take a quick look at the three main human hosts for those symbiotes that we just mentioned. There were also two more symbiotes that we saw in the first film, the unnamed yellow and blue symbiotes. And these three characters here from the Venom movie universe were also symbiote hosts in the comics. From the ending of No Way Home, we know that Venom crossed over to the main MCU timeline and left behind a part of him there. 
So before we talk in more detail about that, let's take a brief look at the previous appearances of Venom in the worlds of the other two more senior Peter Parkers. For the Raimi films, Spider-Man 3 showed us Venom bonding with that universe's Peter Parker and Eddie Brock. And for the Amazing Spider-Man universe, well, Venom was sort of there, but not really. And now let's move to the main MCU timeline inhabited by Tom Holland's Peter Parker. We've got a bunch of potential new Venom symbiote hosts here, as all of these MCU characters here were once Venom hosts in the main comics 616 universe. The MCU also has many other symbiote related stuff from the comics but are not so much when adapted on screen. So what do you think is the future of symbiotes in future Marvel films? Tell us what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.